I'm with SarahBanding.com, and she is the, are you the artist and writer? Or? I'm the artist and author. Art, artist and author of Fine Kelly Green. What is uh, Fine Kelly Green about? Well, Fine Kelly Green is a sort of fantasy event, adventure about two kids who meet some monsters at school, then get in trouble, so they have to take them back to Monster World. But when they get there, Monster World isn't exactly a nice place. It's up to them to help sort it out. And what kind of audience is this intended for? It's intended for all ages. Uh, I write it so that kids can read it. It's PG, but there's a lot of stuff in there that is going to make adults happy as well. Okay. And what kind of uh, do you have like kind of lessons or something? Uh, oh, yeah. Something you want them to walk away with? Yeah, yeah. for for the kids um, and for the adults too. The lesson is about learning what you need in life. The little boy, he's really scared. He's afraid of people, afraid of everything, and the little girl thinks she doesn't need anybody in her life to make her happy. And they both learn that there's stuff that they may not have known that they needed. And what are some kind of the influences uh, in your writing here? Um, you know, I read a lot of fantasy. Uh, I think um, Serenity Rose by Aaron, Aaron Alexovich is one of the biggest influences for me. Um, of course, Lord of the Rings, <laughs> but this isn't really like that. Um, children's books. You know, um, there's like the Scary Godmother. I think that's what it's called. That one's that one's really good. That that's a big influence on um, how I approach a lot of the illustrations. Your book is kind of a darker tone in, in nature. Um, you know, they, when they get to Monster World, it does get a little dark, but for the most part, it's pretty lighthearted. And then uh, this is self-published. You wrote, uh, produced this all. What were some of, some of the challenges you had in, uh, in doing in, uh, in completing the project? I'd say the biggest challenge is trying to figure out a way to make ends meet while you're drawing the comic, because <laughs> um, they're all hand-drawn in pencil and then digitally colored. So the rendering and the coloring takes up so much time, it's, it's really difficult to find the time to do it and also work two jobs to pay rent. <laughs> so I mentioned a lot of hours producing it, but then trying to balance it off with the rest of your life. Yeah, exactly. The other thing is finding the funds to get it published in the first place. Uh, we're printing them ourselves, so we save up while I'm working on it for each issue. We do a new issue around every 20 pages. And uh, so how would people find, uh, find Kelly Green? Well, you can go to my website, sbanning.com. Uh, that's just my art website. There's a link to the comic there. Or you can go directly to the source at www.findkellygreen.com. And that's Kelly spelled K-E-L-L-E-Y. All right, great. Thank you. Thank you.